In this video, we're going to look at the rules for current, potential difference and resistance in a series circuit. A series circuit is a circuit that doesn't have any branches in it, so there's only one possible path for the current to flow through. There are three rules you need to know for series circuits. The first one is that current is the same at all points in the circuit. So if the first ammeter has a reading of 5 amps, all the other ammeters will also have a reading of 5 amps. It doesn't matter where you put your ammeter in the circuit, it will always display the same reading for current. The second rule is that potential difference is shared between the components. So if you take the potential difference across the cell or the battery, that potential difference is going to be shared between any bulbs, for example, that are in the circuit. So if the cell has a potential difference of 6 volts, you would expect that the bulbs would have potential differences of 3 volts each, assuming they're identical bulbs. The final rule is for resistance. The total resistance of a circuit is equal to the sum of the resistances of all individual components. So if you take a circuit with two resistors in it, and each resistor has a resistance of 1 ohm, the total resistance of the circuit will be 2 ohms. Here are some practice questions for you to try. For these questions, you should assume that if there's more than one bulb or resistor in the circuit, that those bulbs or resistors are identical to each other. Firstly, complete the missing values for current in this circuit. So if the first ammeter records a reading of 3 amps for the current, what will the other ammeters read? Secondly, complete the missing values for potential difference in this circuit. If the cell has a potential difference of 10 volts, what will be the potential difference of the two bulbs, assuming that they're identical? And finally, complete the missing value for resistance in this circuit. The circuit also has two resistors, and they each have a resistance of 4 ohms. What will be the resistance of the circuit overall? Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The first thing to note is that current is the same at all points in a series circuit. So if the first ammeter reads 3 amps, the current at all the other ammeters will also be 3 amps. Potential difference in a series circuit is shared between components. So if the cell has a potential difference of 10 volts, that will be shared between the two bulbs, so they'll have a potential difference of 5 volts each. The total resistance is the sum of the resistances of all the individual components. So if the two resistors have a resistance of 4 ohms each, the total resistance for the circuit will be 8 ohms. Thank you for watching. I hope the video has been helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.